Tuesday to September 19th. My name is CR, on site of the Matheson family farm, continuing my investigation in Charlie's disappearance. Let's see what we can turn up. Okay. Okay. I think I am no longer Lauren. I am Charlie now. I thought the tape was going to play, but apparently I'm going to create the tape. This isn't weird at all. I have to say, I have a certain amount of respect for the fact that Kate and her friends drive jalopies, but my goodness, CR. Can you at least get a paint job on it or something? Okay. I have many places to go, and inside buildings are like the last place I want to go. Thankfully, I'm not able to go into that one right now. Now, oh, there is a gate there. I thought there wasn't a gate there. The gate is like the same color as the roadway there, and it looked like I could pass through it. I'm assuming... I don't remember the name of the boy the missing posters but I'm assuming it's the same boy I've seen posters for and also the same scary vision of the boy I saw in the burnout house now they must have had multiple properties or access to multiple properties and yes I'm playing a certain game that gives me the urge to pull out my knife and break that crate um, but, don't really know, obviously, that that is who I'm searching for, that they, those, that vision and this missing boy are one and the same. Now, I'm missing number 10, and this is drawn by Charlie. It looks like... Does it just have to be many children and fire and you know who with the tie on? Does it just have to be? So if there are many children, I really don't know if the vision was Charlie. It seems as though Charlie signed that wonderful bit of artwork so I guess I can trust that he made that now okay. is there a reason why I came up here Do I want to crouch and can I look in the suitcase no lots of luggage in this game but none of it really of any interest to me okay I think I have exhausted all searching possibilities in this barn, which really provides you zero shelter from the elements. And I pass by something that would have been here. That is a mailing shipping label. There is nothing on this stuff. Nothing in that pile, nothing over there. Right, so that is that building sorted. We have a couple silos over there. Do I have a way into CR? Do you have the same challenging physical disability that Lauren has? How do I get out of this little pen I'm stuck in? Did I walk right by it over here? I walked right by it over here. Okay. 
Now, do I want to go? I can't go. If I want to go, I can't go. So, that story's over. Do you? Yeah. Shocking. Oh. I don't have a flashlight. I have the noise. The inside the building noise. I almost thought that was blinking for a second there. Rose, we're going into the cellar tonight for another game of hide-and-seek. Father won't return from his errand to Red Deer until the morning, and Norm says he found a lantern so he can take us there after dark if we all meet by the chapel after tonight's dinner. I know you hate the rancid smell of petrol down there, but it'll be fun, I promise, Maggie. P.S. Don't tell Patty she'll tell on us. Rose, Maggie, and Patty. Now, are those Charlie's sisters? And they're going to the chapel basement? Going to a basement somewhere. Can I please find a flashlight? I know it's not that dark in here, but there's no way to open or shut that door. I am ready to see just about anything right now up here out of nowhere. Not at all having the hairs on the back of my neck stand up while I'm inside this building. Not at all. I think this place is sorted. I'm really going to miss the inside the building sound in my head. I really am. There's nothing over in this corner, nothing on these shelves, nothing up top there. Can't get around that way, can't go that way. I honestly don't know where I'm headed now. I feel as though I've almost run into a dead end, but is there, is there a way past this fence over here? It looks like maybe there is. And no, there is not. Hopefully this is like 12-hour VCR tape, because... Uh, this might take me a while. CR. Am I looking at it right over here and I'm just being... I think I want to go this way. I think. No? Oh, wait, wait. Do we have... No, CR. CR is not getting past that. Is there something over here? No. Okay. Now I'm a little confused, I have to say. I'm a little confused and I'm wondering if I'm going to lose daylight. As, a, as usual. Where the heck? Was there a an exit out of the barn that I missed? Could very could have been right in front of my face and I didn't see it. Feel like it has something to do with this. Do I need to find a switch and lift you up? I think I walked right past what I needed to do. I think. There was a reason to come up here. There it is. Okay. You know, I don't often hang out in farms, but I notice a wench when I see one. Let me tell you. Now, is there... I think there might have been something over here. I should say, I know a wench when I see one. And... <laughs> there are various forms of wenches, and... I will just put it out there that I know all of them when I see them. 
I had no interest in trying to get trying to get myself out of trouble there. I'm just gonna walk right into that trouble and put a big broad smile on it. That's right. I know all forms of wenches when I see them. Isn't it winch? Is that the word I was looking for? <laughs> I really get myself in trouble. Winch, wench. You know what I'm trying to say. Still have no flashlight. Okay, we can head in there, but we have a still on wheels. What is this? Can I drive that around? That's looking in better shape than my own vehicle. We'll say, I'm going to come back to that. Oh. Whoa. I swore I heard a motor. S sounded like a motorcycle off in the distance. And if I was Lauren watching this VCR tape, I would definitely be hitting fast forward right now. Okay, we've got more chains in there. Any notes or letters or VCR tapes? Am I going to watch a VCR tape within a VCR tape? Wow. Okay, we're not going there quite yet. We've got an entrance to another attic, I guess. Another part of the farm, let's say. We want to go check out the silo house first. And we want to know what the hell this contraption is. That is, why that is... Pretty much the first generator ever made, I'm, I'm thinking. Alright, we need fuel for the gener... What... was... that? The voice of some... And what is that? Oh, that's a light there. Reminder, all wheat and barley should be stored in a subterrane. What is that? Subterranean? I don't know what that sound is. Actually, you know what I'm... It's sounding like a cow now. That's what it's sounding like to me. Alright, so I have to go somewhere and find fuel. I want to finish reading that note, though. The noise will go away and stop messing with my head. Reminder, all wheat... The hell is that noise? All wheat and barley should be stored in a subterranean cellar for cold storage. Wheat can be stored up to nine months pending moisture. Dry grain should be taken to the cellar immediately for winter storage. Cooling the... I'm just ignoring that noise right now. Cooling the grain ensures... Insects remain dormant and minimizes mold growth. Something. Whoa. Yeah, um... Not really looking forward to going back in there, but... I think I'm looking for fuel for the generator so I can see what I'm doing while I'm in there. I think. By the way, I can run as CR, yes, I can. 
There are no notes or anything on these shelves. There's nothing. Nothing back in there. Alright, so. Got a windmill over there. Thought I saw a little outhouse kind of thing over here. Yeah, how do I get into that paddock? Enclosed area. Why am I hearing extra footsteps? Don't need the extra footsteps. Got enough footsteps myself. Well, this, these weeds got tall quick. Did they not? Okay. Is there a way into this little grotto? If there is, CR is not interested in it. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm hearing other footsteps. The cemetery. Boy, this is a big farm. Most farms are big, though. So that's the chapel with the basement, right? And I'm not getting in there until I find a key, and I'm not finding a key till I get fuel, I think, for the generator. And brave that damn sound. All right, so we're heading to the windmill, and so let's see what this sign says. I have to say, once again, the scenery is lovely. If it weren't for the fact that you feel like you're about to lose your mind. So, no, no, the cellar's the other way. Chapel, and what, what's... What is it? Greenery. Okay. Cellar, chapel, greenery. You know, you could put all those very much closer together. I wouldn't have complained, but... Like most farm owners, you feel the need to spread all your buildings out. So, okay. And just... CR can do all the wonderful... physical feats that Lauren was capable of. It's good to know. Except he doesn't get real close to rock outcroppings like her. He likes to keep his distance. Most of the time. Am I hearing something like fluttering away? Is that, maybe that was the wind going through the blades on the uh, windmill. I don't know. Not real sure on that one. Okay, so you're not going to go really CR. Okay, so that's just not happening. For whatever reason. It doesn't look like I'm getting to the windmill. Got this odd feeling I'm not getting to the wind. Okay, maybe I'm getting to it this way. I have to say, CR has um, strange. Oh, thought that was a cow. He has strange ideas about where he can go and where he can't go. Um, oh no! I gotta go in the cellar first. Does the cellar have a light on? Uh, <laughs> really? Can I just go in the windmill and find the fuel? 550 volts? Alright, something's... Really? We're gonna blink on and off? You just have to, don't you? That looked like a shadow on the ground for a minute. Keep wanting to turn the flashlight on. That urge is never going to go away. I promise you that. We played hide and seek down here, huh? With the 550 volts and the blinking lights. Much braver hide and seek players than I ever would be. I'll admit that. Do we have? I thought there was a note on that chair. All. All. Light 
to go out. Ugh. Kids are still playing hide and seek. It's a, I'm leaving. I don't want to stay. I just don't. <sighs> oh, stop it. Stop with the lights. Granny Richter's Big Book of Stories, Volume 1. Is there a story about a guy who went into a basement and never got out? <laughs> Alright, as long as we're just playing hide and seek, and we're not playing kill the guy with the camcorder, I think I'm going to get used to it. The sound of them running around. And if I find the fuel and the lights go out. <sighs> yes, canister, canister added to inventory. I didn't know I had an inventory. Okay, sometimes the lights going out isn't all that bad if I miss the you know what's doing the you know what. I just want to leave, but... Okay, so this is another way out. Should I turn out the lights before I go? I'm going to leave the lights on. Where am I now? Oh my god. Please don't make me go in the cellar again. Please. It's dark, though. It's dark. Coming out of the cellar, and it's getting dark. Okay. Taking my gas can to stir, and never looking at that cellar again. Whoa. What? 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 Why? No! 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 It came out of the cellar with me. All right, so I have a slight conundrum here. I seem to be skipping stages by going to the farm. Hmm. I don't know if I should worry about this or not. Was there, when I got out of the abyss, were there other places I could have gone that I just didn't notice? a little peculiar and frustrating that I might have missed something. I am going to, I'm going to go back to this, this stage and see what I can see. Aha, number 10. Now I must have walked this way and walked right past it without looking that way. All right, so there's number 10. Let's see what that has to say. Re back home. Glad you're feeling better, but that house is too close to the woods. It's too isolated. You need to go somewhere else. I know a place that I think will be safer for you to stay. I'm going to go with you because my house doesn't feel safe anymore. I nailed all the windows shut, but I still feel too open. I haven't slept in a few weeks either. I'm so tired. Let's get out of here, Kate. I promise I'll keep you safe. CR. Okay, so they're both experiencing a serious bit of paranoia, are they not? Can anyone blame them? So 
So I walked right past this. Does that say CF equals die? CR equals die? How did I walk right past this before? second I'm Charlie now made the mistake mistake of calling myself Charlie in the last episode now I actually am Charlie and I make some pretty sweet sandcastles though I'll say that where okay we got a boat over there I mean I understand pressing play on a VCR and watching someone else explore an area that they recorded um, their expo exploration of. This is a little different, a little even weirder than CR at the farm. Oh, and a little immersion break here. A viewer complained about the light level <laughs> in these episodes. And unfortunately, this is a dark and atmospheric game now. This stage looks very bright and well lit. And like the closest to noon time and a high sun that I've experienced. But generally speaking, it's just going to be dark. Now when I don't have a flashlight and I'm you know, uh, searching around not so well lit areas, very dark areas. I'm going to do what I can to raise the brightness when I edit the videos, but that's about all I can do about the brightness level. Kind of stuck with whatever brightness we want to, or the game wants to give me. Something is blinking over there. Something of interest over there. I'm hearing adults talking somewhere off in the distance. Is it the same adults that told me when lunchtime was? And I would say that that means that this is morning. I think got my answer here as opposed to evening because you don't have lunch when the sun is setting. You have dinner. You can't fool Charlie or me with the time of day now. Okay. I have... What looked like a choo-choo train, a, a, an engine? Did it, why did it not go into my inventory? That's different. Why did it not tell me it went into my inventory? Picked it up and did not get an inventory alert. Am I eating lunch out on the boat? Where am I eating lunch? In that building? That building doesn't look, there's something else down there blinking at me. Charlie is just walking down the beach here, pretty much. Doesn't have many other places to go. And all the items of interest seem to be on the beach. If he's at all related to Lauren or CR, he's climbing nothing. That is not a skill. Any of these people seem to have. Don't get too dirty out there, Charlie. Okay, where, where? Okay, are you out on a boat? How are you talking to me like that?
Alright, I have another choo-choo train thing. Are they all going to be? Am I being led somewhere by the shiny, sparkly choo-choo trains? That's... Alright, good work, Charlie. You got over that. Now, my, you're not get. Oh, boy. You're not getting back. Oh, boy. Is there any way to get back, Charlie? Um, no. Did I want to do... Oh, wait a second. Um, oh, I can. Alright. It's a struggle, but Charlie can make it over the rocks if he needs to. Charlie must be Lauren's son. Okay, another shiny thing. Starting. To, can I go in the water? Do I want to go in the water? I uh, can't go in the water. I don't think I want to go in the water. There isn't, aren't, there isn't too much plant life or fish life in the water, seemingly. Very clear, though. Got smoke or steam or something. I suppose I should check if Charlie... Charlie can run a little bit. He's not going to be doing a marathon anytime soon, obviously. He can run a little bit. Alright, that's good to know. I doubt Charlie has a flashlight. Gotta check, though. He's got... Choo-choo trains, though, which is what I think these are. Actually, you know what? These are not... These are parts of a choo-choo. This is like a train car, not the actual engine. Now, is somebody going to tell me, Charlie, don't go out of sight when I turn this corner? That would be the responsible adult thing to do as Charlie wanders off down the beach into the forest, but okay... And another rock outcropping. Whoa, 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 Charlie's... Charlie, whoa, okay, no, Charlie's not getting up. Really, Charlie. Okay, so... I got a little overconfident there about his... Um... Okay. I'm over I'm o I'm over here where I can't climb up the rock. Where did you guys go? Charlie. Charlie. Hey, maybe Charlie is mute. Why doesn't Charlie call out to his parents? Alright, I'm this is really gonna be disturbing if they keep calling to me as I'm walking away from them. Everything about what I'm doing right now screams wrong, but I have no other choice. My parents are utter buffoons, apparently. Is that the caboose? I don't know. Oh, I thought that tree was somebody's head beyond those rocks. Okay, now I'm good. I'm going into the woods? That seems like a really bad idea. Alright, now their voices are taking on a strange edge. Like they're in another dimension or something. Okay, that's... Alright, now she sounds normal. Is Charlie just incredibly misbehaved, or...? Oh boy. Charlie. Obviously I'm not getting back from this drop, and there's something blinking there. Char Almost sounds like they're mocking Charlie, rather than being concerned about him. I'm reporting these people to whatever place you report derelict parents too. Okay, 
I don't know what that was. That looked a little not train-like. It is very... Is Charlie crying? Um, Charlie... Whoa, the trees are doing a thing. Charlie's got the eight pages sound. Why is he not calling out to them? Alright, now I can't move. Alright, I sort of can move, but I, I really... Whoa, tentacles everywhere! Whoa! Whoa! Tentacles everywhere! Goodness. I am not so sure I even wanted to find you. I wish I walked past you again. That's what I really wish. <laughs> 